Yeah, I, I should pause this because I don't want you. I, no, I should play. I'm gonna do one. I don't play music for you to do uh, uh, do your thing. Mm -hmm. You do one tap at a time, my brother. But this is powerful. Welcome to Destiny International Ministries, where the people of God are taught their purpose in God to fulfill the will of God and bring glory to God. Glory. To open your spirit and look inside the word of God, you'll find his will, his way. Dang, I got to clean up, brother. Life, if you receive it and believe it, you can achieve it. Now, Woo. here's our pastor. You might You're see this ain't no joke. Man. Jim Crow says blacks were not allowed to, to show public affection towards one another. Black man couldn't kiss his own wife in public because it offended whites. Don't hold hands. Hey, Amen. It's an amazing thing. Somebody said America ain't racist. A lot of us grew up in families where you didn't see a lot of intimacy. <laughs> now I understand. That's a Jim Crow hangover. You know, that's a Jim Crow hangover. You, you, you think about that. You a black man, you, and you done just took your, you know, your wife to a 25 cent movie, and you coming out, and you gonna hold hands, and you gotta let go of the hand of your wife. Imagine what that does to the psyche. Blacks were not allowed Woo, to show rough day to day. one another, and you understand that Jim Crow laws officially day, did I'm not leave the books of America until 1967. Oh my goodness. Jim Crow was well in effect. Oh and he still, what happened was they killed him, but didn't know that he had had a woman and gave birth to a couple kids. All right. One of them is in the White House. Jim Crow etiquette prescribed that blacks were introduced to whites, but whites never to blacks. Watch. The black was introduced to the white, but you never introduced the white person to the black. Because the black, the white was superior and the black was inferior. Mr. Peters, for this is how you get to say, now understand, listen, this Ooh. is what you were taught. See, Emmett wasn't taught that. If Emmett Tilda, his cousins were taught that. So his cousins knew, Larry, stand up, start walking. His cousins knew that if he's a white man, you did this. And you walked to the side. Thank you. They knew that. And so Jim Crow was taught in the southern household of black folks because the mother and the father didn't want their child to be lynched. So this is how it would go. Mr. Peters, the white man, you wanted to introduce somebody, you would say, Mr. Peters, this is Charlie who I talked about. So let's say I want to get Devin a job. I'm a black man. I work for Mr. Peters. I want to get Devin a job. I don't say Mr. I don't say uh, Mr. Patterson meet Mr. Peters. I say Mr. Peters meet Devin. Because giving him Mr. is it is it, it, it puts him equal. And so that's why in 1969 they had to sign I am a man. Because in Memphis, a 50-year-old black man was still called boy by his 25-year-old supervisor. Mm. Whites did not use courtesy titles of respect when referring to blacks. For example, Mr., Mrs., Miss, Sir, or Ma'am. Instead, blacks were called by their first name. Now, blacks had to use courtesy Woo. titles when referring to whites. And Kick were not it! allowed to call them by their first name. Kick it! I was watching a movie the other day. Who, who saw the movie True Story, The Great Debaters? With I did. Denzel. That was and, an and, awesome and in the movie. scene 
where the sheriff is asking these black men yep, that are older yes. than him about Denzel and is he trying to start a union? And and, and the sheriff says, boy, you know, y'all want to be lying to me, boys. What you? And they're like, no, sir, no, sir. We don't know anything about it. This is true. You know, they called you boy, but you responded with yes, sir. If a black person rode in a car driven by a white person, the black person sat in the back seat or the back of the truck. Watch this. You know, PennDOT has, who, let me see anybody just got their license. Raise your hand. You just got your license, James? <laughs> you mean you renewed it? Oh, okay, amen. He was the realest person I ever met, man. Amen. The most prolific pastor, yeah, I'm only one I ever Chris, seen in my life. Straight, Tell the truth. And I want to make it right. Who has a right away? Straight away always has right away. Jim Crow law says the white motorist has the right away of all intersections. They had a book called The Jim Crow Guide, and it just offered simple rules that blacks were used to, to observe when, when conversing with whites. This is the Jim Crow Guide. Never assert or even intimate that a white person is lying. No, see, we come up to the sharecropping, and, 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 and a man, you know, worked for a white man, and, and he told you he's going to give you uh, $5 a day. You work five days. You do know a little bit of man. $25 is how much you should get. He gives you 15 Do not even let him know that you know he's lying. Jim Crow law. Never impute this honorable or righteously change your life. That's why even to this day, and you can look around this facility, we have more African-American women in here than African-American men. And you got brothers standing at a distance. You got more women in college than, than, than men. Brothers are standing at a distance. But the amazing thing is what we get close up on is unrighteous. We staying at a distance to education. We staying at a distance to salvation. We staying at a distance to transformation. Woo! But we're real close to incarceration. Kick it. Kick it. Ah. Ah. We, 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 we preach, stand, brother, you know, it's, it's hard to go down the pit and see 20 brothers congregated in the library. <laughs> But I can go to Frankstown Avenue and get 25 congregations. Woo, it's, 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 it's hard. And it's because Amen. of a lie that says anything that's righteous, I don't want to be part of. Good God. Good God. It, it, Woo wee. So they had to stay right out of distance. Keeping a hundred. Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go show yourself to the priests. And as they went, they were what? They were cleansed. See, they had an outside condition that Jesus took care of. But trust me, Jesus is not just trying to take care of the outside. Ultimately, he wants to take care of the inside. Mm -hmm. And so Matthew Patterson, who, who has been incarcerated and a couple other things, when you look at him now, he wearing a shirt and tie. But that's not what I'm most impressed, that he's cleaned up on the outside. I know that his soul has been cleaned in the inside. And so for a young brother to come out of prison, because I can stop him from wearing baggy jeans and Timberlands, still don't mean he's safe. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is more concerned with cleaning up your insides then you're outside, but thank Woo! you, Mr. Devin. Praise him. Because the devil gets Praise the victory. The devil gets the victory by making you think, well, maybe if I change my clothing, I can trick some people. You may be able to trick some people, but God is not a God and he can be mocked. Oh! Ah, stay with me here. Oh, yes, Lord. It says, and when they went, they were I'm cleansed. Looking, so that means their leprosy so. went away. Oh, yes. One. Somebody say one. Love it, love One it, of them, when he it, saw man. he was healed, real shit right meaning he no man. longer has leprosy, came real back shit. praising That's God in a loud mean. voice. Man, he's a, he threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. 
Jesus asked, like, we're not all ten everything. friends. His post everything. Where are the other nine? Every chapter. Was no one found to return and give praise except this foreigner? Then he said to him, rise and go. Your faith has made you what? Well. So what I want us to understand. The faith. There's two type of cleansings that need to take place. An outside cleansing of how you think about yourself externally. Does it matter if you're tall or short? Does it matter if what the world says you're overweight or fat or super skinny? Does it matter if you're light skin with long hair or dark skin with short hair? Until you can have an external cleansing of how you look at yourself, you're going to always be in bondage. Then you need that internal cleansing. Because there's a lot of folks that say, but don't love themselves. Mm -hmm. And there's some folks that love themselves. But are saying no, that can't be true. The truest form of freedom. No, that can't be true. Yourself. I love it, yo. I love it. And love your neighbor. There's a freedom in that. So he tells this one man, not ten of you had leprosy, and none of you had salvation. Now, none of you have leprosy, but yet only one has salvation. Mm -hmm. Let me just give you some teachings on Jim Crow and follow the day. How to break down Jim Crow Woo! to Come on, back. leprosy. This is right off the internet. I just typed up Jim Crow, and so I got some Jim Crow information. Oh, oh he used Google, too. It says... The information's out there. We want it, baby. We got the matrix. And the sign says, Woo! Preach! Negroes or Mexicans. And then the other sign says, Color served in the rear. This was Jim Crow. Mm. This was this was with with uh, if they were you know, it wasn't as bad up north, but this is what what Brother Colbert would have experienced down in Mississippi. This is what of uh, uh, Deacon John would have experienced in Texas. This was Jim Crow. It was subtle up in the, up in the, up in the northern states, your Pittsburgh, Phillies, DCs, and so forth. But it was up here. But it was <clears throat> it was overt in the southern states. <clears throat> so listen to what the Jim Crow system was. The Jim Crow system was undergirded or supported by the following beliefs. Somebody say beliefs. It's just, it was a belief system that they created, but it was a lie. But when you believe the lie, it becomes your belief. It was <clears throat> belief or rationalizations that whites were superior blacks in all important Kick ways, it. including, but not limited to, intelligence, morality, and civilized behavior. Sexual relations between blacks and whites would produce a mongrel race which would destroy America. Think about this. They came up with a statement to see it. If a black man and a white woman have sex, their child is going to be a mongrel or mixed race will destroy America. A mongrel but the same southern men that made that statement had no problem sleeping with black women. Oh, no, no, no. So a white man can sleep with a black woman. Uh, what? We, what one happened? of the things that they said about black men were that you all know ah, the what? big buck theory? Is that true? Hey man, you you all know about the big buck That's theory true, and that right? allegedly Kick black it. men were supposed to be you know you know what I'm Kick about. it. Amen. You know black men were supposed to be a little bit better off than the other race, and so it was a theory. We didn't come up with that. They came up with that. Damn. And the theory was to steer white women away from black men, but the same one that came up with that theory had no problem sleeping with black women. Oh, they man. came up with a theory of belief and a rationalization to see if we could not control ourselves and that we would wreck white started. women. The amazing thing is, oh. all during slavery, you may have had three white women raped by black men, but thousands of black women were raped by white men, by their masters. And so they came up with a theory that said that we had less intelligence, we had less ethics, we had less morality, we had less control over our sexual nature, we had a bestiality type mindset, we couldn't control ourselves, and all of these other things. This was Jim Crow. It said that um, Kick it. blacks as equal would encourage interracial sexual Kick relationships, it. 
any activity which suggested social equality, encouraged interracial sexual re uh, relations. If necessary, violence must be used to keep blacks at the bottom of the racial hierarchy. So if a black man tried to organize a union in 1920, they hung him. If a black man tried to do anything righteously, they resorted, they resorted to violence. Uh, uh, um, Oh shoot, I forget his name. It's it's Franklin, but they made a movie called The Birth of a Nation. Read the names. Read them names. Read them names. Listen. Oh, okay. And I say this in love. This is part of the problem of our generation. The, 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 the lack of the uh, historical yeah, knowledge about the parents of this generation. Man, it's quiet. Brian preaches like this. I, I don't see. I don't, he's the only one I the ever. The Birth of a Nation story. came on in 1919. The only one. It was a movie that legitimized the birth of the Ku Klux Klan. One of the scenes in the movie shows a white man who has his face is black chasing a, a southern white woman. It was a movie. They didn't even have sound back then. It was a silent movie. And, 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 and it, what it showed was that blacks want to take over the South. And then when the Klan comes on the scene, that the Klan was um, 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 was the Klan was derived by God to save the southern nation or mm. the southern states, and particularly the purity. Of the yes. <laughs> And so it says the following general ethical norms show how inclusive or pervasive these norms were. These were laws. A black male could not offer his hand to shake hands with a white male because it was implied being socially equal. You could not, if you just went to the bank and bought a house, somehow you didn't get a home or a car or whatever, you could not shake the white man's hand for a deal because it said that you were socially equal. That was Jim Crow. It said a black male could not offer his hand or any part of his body to a white woman because he was risked of being accused of rape. If a black man saw a white woman fall down, he better not try to pick her up. He wanted to walk right past her. So these were Jim Crow laws. Blacks and whites were not supposed to eat together. If they did eat together, the whites were to be served first and some sort of partition was used to be placed between them because they thought we had leprosy. Under mm. no circumstance was a black male to offer to light the cigarette of a white female. Woo! This gesture implied But America innocent. ain't racist. But Left racism the problem, didn't assist in the miracle. Who said that? To visit his cousin. Don't say the name. My mom was 13 years old. I heard right? somebody Her say there is no old. racism in and America. Goes down you're racist. Because he's from up north. And, and, and up north, you're crazy. Jim Crow wasn't as strong, and so we still don't know exactly what it was. Wake they up. say something incorrect. Wake to the woman up. That you whistle or whatever, but allegedly his cousin said you you won't <laughs> whistle at her or whatever. He said, "Why? Yes, I will." That's all he did. Went home to his uncle. A group of white men came to his uncle's house, knocked on the door, and took him it away. And the uncle knew what was going to happen. They beat him to death. Put a, 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 a the, what's the the, um, the fence that you use, the barbed wire fence around his neck, and connected it to a battery, and dropped him in the river. When they exhumed his body, I was on the internet and I hit up Emmett Till pictures. Literally, Emmett Till's head was like he, his head was this big, and the mother had an open casket funeral because she wanted the world to see in Jet magazine took the picture and put on the cover of Jet. That's all he did. 1954. Beat him, put barbed wire around his neck, and threw him in the river. He had just went down south. Man, racism don't exist in that racism don't so exist in America? The Who person said that? was told Who said by the priest and the community. <laughs> Not only are you unclean, but you got to tell people you're unclean. In 2021, mm. this ain't still happening. Bill Cosby said some things about two years ago, and he got ah, some support in the African American community. Let's talk and about he it. Got some lack of support. Let's in talk the about it. Community. And what he said was he talked about mothers. Single mom or parent, but he was saying, you know, you'll spend two hundred dollars on a pair of shoes, but you won't get your children hooked on funds. Yeah, yeah. And he really did say some truth. That's what he was deep is they told him you shouldn't be airing our dirty laundry. 
And Bill Cosby said something that sounded offensive, but it was the truth. He said, let me tell you something. All of them put that guy that was in the Bible. He got a box home with his hands hanging down. His hands hanging down. Your ears itself with his stands on the corner getting half of it. I want to see it. You know, our dirty laundry in the ear itself with his hands hanging down. That's what we're going to find out. 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 That's his mother's in the car, the body. He he's on, his, on the passenger and side, and, and his little sister's sitting in the back. In the and a black and man comes and, and shoots through the car window, window the body, and kills him. In the, how how the hard can the heart be the when you shoot a man in the head in the presence of his mother and sister? We air our dirty laundry like that. That young boy, 12 years old, cold in Germany, and at the head of the two-storm in Wilkinsburg. Somebody starts shooting way. at him or at the, the group of guys. He runs inside, and they think like that us. he's the one that did it, and because everybody inside is carrying a gun, they shoot him, 12 years old. And, and, and so the self-hatred that we have based upon the lack of our complexion is the black, curse of Canaan black, is a lie that we religion. believe, that and it's my job to get you not to believe the lie, but to believe into the truth. Amen? The same so the person no, in, 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 in America has treated us this from, way. You know, I, I think he went a little bit too far to at the Washington Press Club, Club, Obama's former um, um, pastor, Jeremiah Wright. But 95% of what Obama. Jeremiah Wright said was the truth. Amen. A ninety-five percent of what he said was the truth. They 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 attacked America in nine eleven. Not because God was upset with America. They attacked America in nine eleven because America had attacked them in in in, in eighty nine. And America has done some things to a lot of places. And and, and black preachers have been doing this historically. Black preachers Woo! are the only ones that had enough courage to say, "I love this country, but I'm going to speak out against it." Amen. You Amen. listen to Martin Luther King. King's 1969 speech on Vietnam. He's speaking out against right America. Right. And so what but Jeremiah Wright simply was trying to do was Let educate his congregation. Great, great country. Okay. I love it. I was a Marine for okay. six years. And but sure America got some shady stuff that needs to be, that to needs to be exposed and dealt with. Amen? America created and invented racism. No other country invented oh, racism. No, no, America no, no, don't say that. That's, that's so true. The, the, the no, they say America is racist. And as degrading Today. and as demonic and as devil-like oriented as, as American slavery. So, yes, America invented racism. America Woo! enslaved us for over 200 years. America lynched us. America birthed the Jim Crow laws. America helped create the ghetto. America has sent more money to Iraq than the Westinghouse High School. So Jeremiah oh. Wright is correct when he says that. The incorrect part is, but not also saying that America has moved forward. Amen? Now I'm going to tell you how far America has moved forward. There's a very, very good chance that Barack Obama wins the presidency. Oh. So we have really moved forward. We moved forward. You know, back in the day, you can call somebody a nigger. And be okay. Don Imus tried it and, and lost his job. So uh -huh. America has moved forward. Racism is still out there, but it is not as bad as it was. And listen, there's no more colored water fountains. There's no, there's no more, you know, Rosa Park days are over with. The problem is the, the gains of the civil rights movement, the gains of the black power movement, the gains of the 60s have been lost since the 90s. That's the problem where we, where James Meredith died trying to integrate the University of Mississippi. Now we got more brothers incarcerated than in, in college. Where, where the Arkansas Little Rock Nine were spit on trying to go to high school, now 75% of the males that go to West, you can't get a whole lot of positive things in the black community, but you'll get a bunch of salons. Ah! You know, to this day, Talk we're still it. trying to, 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 to have something that's not naturally yours. Uh, 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 they have, to this day, you can go on the internet. I was researching it. It's a different name now, but you can still go on the internet and type up the word um, um, skin bleach. 
and they still sell skin bleach, but in the 20s and 30s and 40s, you actually had advertisement that, that, that told black folks, if you want to get ahead in life, bleach your skin. And, 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 and so God. it's always been, and again, it's not so much what they see it to us, it's what we believe that they see it. Amen? Amen. So go to Leviticus chapter 13. Preach. Because it's almost like Ooh, they try wait. to teach us, and I say they, it's, it's those that were in control in America. In uh, control. Um, that, that were somebody trying to teach said us racism that don't we had some in America. type of leprosy. I heard somebody say that. That we looked down that. upon our skin. <laughs> and, it's, and, and what the amazing <laughs> thing is, it, 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 it comes all the way from slavery when we were enslaved and those that were lighter complected were related to the master. And the uh -huh. master had these lighter complected slaves in the Talk house and they were known as house negroes Talk and the about it. ones were in the field like and so there was always this divide and conquer yeah, even I mean, back during sure slavery that. days yeah. and although we've been out of slavery 1865 140 something years We've been 143 I'm, I'm years, we've been out of slavery, but Willie uh, Lynch said something in the 1700s that if you do what I'm teaching you right, what I'm teaching you will self-perpetuate itself. Let your mother hear that. And I'm seeing the teachings that occurred in slavery still applying to us now. Amen? Amen! Chapter 13 of the Book of Leviticus, verse 1. It says, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, when anyone has a swelling or a rash or a bright spot on his skin that may become an infectious skin disease, he must be brought to Aaron the priest or to his sons who's a priest. The priest is to examine the sore on his skin, and if the hair in the sore has turned white, and the sore appear, appears to be more than skin deep, it is an infectious skin disease. When the priest examines him, he shall, he shall pronounce him, what type of unclean? ceremonially unclean, meaning that he couldn't participate in certain ceremonies. He's unclean. He, his skin is infectious. And if he touches you, you can be infected. He was ceremoniously unclean. And then it says, if the spot on his skin is white but does not appear to be more than skin deep, and the hair in it has turned white, the priest is to put the infected person in isolation for seven days. And, and, and this is amazing. It was a form of leprosy but the Bible doesn't say if it turns black. It's said if it turned white, he was unclean. And the same white folks that read the Bible flipped the script and said we were cursed black, which makes us unclean. Oh, y'all didn't catch that one. Oh. On the seventh day, the priest is to examine him. And oh. if he sees that the sword is unchanged and is not Talk spread to the skin, he is to keep him in isolation for another seven days. Somebody say in isolation. In isolation. That's what we've been kept in. We've been kept in isolation. We were in isolation Wake during up. slavery. And even after slavery, we're in isolation during the sharecropping. And every ghetto in the, in America Woo. is a form of isolation. And if you if you think you're not in isolation, try integration. Mm. And when you integrate to a to a suburb, Talk there's, about a, it. there's a word that realtors came up with in the 60s. It's called white flight. And Talk so about they'll keep it. us in isolation. But isolation is not bad. What becomes bad is those people in that's been isolated from society are taught that they were less than. I can care less what you teach me. The problem is what we end up believing. Amen? Amen. See, if, 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 if I lie to you and you catch the lie, you're okay. But if I lie to you and you believe a lie, you're going to be lost. If I lie to you and tell you you can make it to Erie by going 80 west. But you know it's 79 North. You're going to be okay. But if you believe 80 West is getting you to area, you're going to be lost. And we got a generation of African Americans that are lost. Amen. 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 Getting the wrong directions in school. Getting the wrong directions from TV. Let me tell you something. What you see on BET 24-7, those are wrong directions. Woo! Those videos are wrong direction. College Talk about TV, it. That's a wrong direction. The flavor of love, that's a wrong direction. Talk about Being taught it. that the only thing that I can amount to in life is a basketball player or a rap star, those are, those are wrong directions. Amen? Amen. Ah. Woo! 
Yes, Lord. And, Talk and, about and how it. do we know they're believing that? Because right now, throughout America, 50% in every school system in America, 50% of all, that's male and female, African Americans don't graduate. But it's even higher just for the African American male. I've given you this statistic before. Westinghouse High School, North Myrtland Avenue, 75% of every young African-American male that enters that school in the September of his ninth grade year will be out of that school. That's care what society says, you're just as smart as any other child. Amen? Amen. So, what Dr. Kenneth Clark did in 1951, him and his wife, Mamie, they did a test. She was working on her master's degree, and her master's degree thesis was a test known as the Dog Test. And they took 171 children from Arkansas, and some children from some northern cities, and they simply had a bunch of black children. And, and, and they put four dogs in their presence. A black dog, or it was a brown-skinned dog, it was a boy. Brown skin Talk dog about was a girl. it! A white dog was a boy, and a white dog was a girl. Tell and they put these dogs the in front of these African-American children and asked them a series of questions, basic questions. What dog looks like the nice dog? Ah! Uh. What dog looks like the bad dog? But somebody said like racism don't exist in well, you America. you pick up the dog that you want to play with. Well, what and, world and, and you live in? 80 something percent of the children in the South. What Every world negative you question live in? about the dog, they picked up the one that looked like them. The, 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 the pretty dog, they picked up the little white dog. If it was a little girl, she picked up the female white dog. If, what's the cute dog? If it was a little boy, he would pick up the white dog. And the last question was which dog looks like you? 85% of them picked up the white dog. And what Dr. Clark and his wife were able to, 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 to conclude through that test is that segregation had so negatively impacted the self-esteem of children that the average African-American child wanted to be white. Mm, to but this because day. they believe the lie. To this Amen? day. And, and so that lie is still being perpetuated Woo! today. Go to Leviticus 13. Leprosy was a real skin disease that, and, 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 and stay with me on this one, Le, uh, Leviticus 13, verse 45. Actually, verse 44, because this is what the priest, somebody say the priest. Say it loud, the priest. The priest was the religious leader of the community. But I want to teach you what the American priests, oh, the religious leaders what? and the political leaders of America, what? what they have taught us. So watch what the priests would have to say. It says Take in verse 44, chapter 13, if the man is diseased and is unclean, Woo! the priest shall announce him unclean because of the sore on his head. The person with such an infectious disease, watch, you all stay with me on this one. You got leprosy in the old covenant. You're unclean. Oh. Once the priest says you're unclean, this is what the person had to do. He had to wear torn clothes. He had to let his hair be unkempt. That means he didn't comb his hair. Huh? He had to cover the lower part of his face and cry out, unclean, unclean. Danny, hold up. America taught our people the, that were but, unclean. But listen, I mean, you untangle this one right and, here. And, and we got a can. generation of young folks I'll, I'll who that. don't even understand that their lifestyle is telling yeah, everyone it. unclean, hey, unclean. Case for it. He got a case. And, oh, thank you. Believing the lie the and, and, and wanting to hurt oh. someone of the same complexion okay. through a not as loud as the one I got. Whatever is telling brand. others unclean, yeah, unclean. Good. I believe right. I'm unclean, and because you look like me, I believe you're unclean, and I want to kill you. I don't care if it's thank Homewood you. or Homewood, no Northside. On, on, on the Hill District, yeah, Wilkinsburg, hey, hey, on, on, on East Hill, we got one thing in common. People of color want to kill people of color because people of color, color believing that their color is unclean. Oh, that's quiet in the library. Quiet! I want you to understand that there is no way your complexion can be unclean when your complexion resembles Jesus. Ah! Talk about it! Do you, are you ah! seeing how theologians 
Jesus. He has lied about this. Theologians, uh, and PhDs, no, 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 and doctors no. and ministries have KB, lied about KB. this. The Bible is extremely clear. The like lamb's wool. Preach. It took God. See, Talk if about Jesus it. Jesus was alive today and had the amen, money set amen, the Bible, amen, people the had, he had a process. Amen. But he wore a thick ah. and wasn't or he wasn't he wasn't embarrassed about the curly nature of his hair. The Bible says he had skin like brass. Oh not just any no, brass. no, 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 brass, no, 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 no. What? What? And so how can we make it so clean? It's an amazing thing. The Ku Klux Klan that calls themselves a Christian organization hates two groups of people. Dark skinned folks and Jews. I'm excited. Jesus was a dark skinned Jew. And but it shows you what you begin to believe the lie. And so I'm here to tell you our complexion does not make us superior, although we have the same complexion of Adam and Eve. We got the same complexion of Noah, Ham, Shem, and Japheth. Abraham was brown skinned. King David was brown skinned. Solomon was brown skinned. I'm not telling you that your complexion makes you superior, but I want you to know beyond a shell of a doubt, your complexion does not make you inferior. Amen. Amen. The Fresh brilliant hip hop is I a ever word. Heard. Young, ever. That, that originated within the Bronx of Brooklyn and, and things like that. Spoken. And so an etymologist can study these words. Well, there's a word that's uh. it's a noun. It's in the dictionary. It's called chump change. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Origin. <laughs> Newark, New Jersey, 1967. Some brother was standing on the corner seeing another brother go to work. And you used to be honored to go to work. My grandfather was just a garbage man, but he held it down as a garbage man and raised an entire family. It used to be if you just got a job, it was considered honorable. We used to, our people used to, our women people used to get on their knees and, and scrub the pit, the, the, the homes in the point breeze. The men got whatever job we could get. We got jobs as shoe shiners. We did whatever we could do to represent, but when the Black Power movement came, all of a sudden, working for the man became a sellout. What? Think about that. No one called someone a sellout in 1930 for doing whatever you had to do. No one called someone, you know, there's a famous picture in Memphis, Tennessee. The reason Martin Luther King was assassinated was when he goes down, well, it was the reason he was at Memphis, but he was going down there to deal with the poor people, and the poor people's march, and the sanitation workers. You know what? And the famous picture is black men standing, and the sign says, "I am a man." Because they were not being treated like men, but they were letting everyone know, "I am a man." But the deep, the deep thing was. In the 30s okay. and 40s, or just, or just even if you treat me like a boy, I'll still act like place. a man and go to work. Okay. I mean, even even if you call me boy and, and I'm older than you, it's, it's, I'm not going to quit my job and start putting food on the table because you just called me a boy or a nigger. I'm going to go to work. But something occurred in the 60s with the rise of the black power movement. The pride in being black also was an anti-American mindset. And we threw the baby out with the bathwater. So now a brother going to work, they say, man, he's a chump. You can make a chump change. Well, what type of money are you making? Up, you haven't heard about this thing, thing called heroin? You, you haven't heard of what just came? You haven't read Man, oh, Child, and the Promised Land, really Claude Brown? You, you don't know that in the 50s, all of a sudden, this drug starts coming into America, and I'd rather sell drugs to my own people than go work for the white man. I don't know, because... That's a 1967 mentality. That's not a 1950. Deacon John, I didn't know 1947 mentality is. No, sir. This man, this man, when, this, when he was a garbage man, they didn't, they didn't jump off the garbage truck and pick up the garbage can. They had to go out on the hill and have a big burlap bag, and you poured all of the garbage there, and then you threw and you wore a leather strap, and you picked the garbage up and put on the leather strap. And the maggots would come out the garbage and get on you. And the dirt and the oil and the grease and all of the junk would come up. But they did it. Now a brother don't even want to stay on the side of a truck, jump off the truck, and pick up a rubber garbage can because he don't want to work for the man as a garbage man. 
or a sanitation engineer. But see, the, the, you know, the, 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 the man of the, the black man of the 30s and the 40s and the 50s, and it was much more difficult to work back then. Didn't think that he was making chip change. He thought he was doing something to put food on his family's table, amen? But in 1967, New York, New Jersey, anti-American mindset says, I'd rather sell drugs to my people than take a job downtown. And that's where the word chip change came on the scene. Let me tell you something. Any change is good change, amen? McDonald's change is good change. Kentucky Fried Chicken change is good change. Any change is excellent change. The only chunk change is unrighteous change. Amen? Turn with me, if you will, to Luke 17. Take your time, man. I thought you was like, you was upset about it being lost. I'm not in 17. Yeah, man, don't worry about it. Get there and look, man. Look there anything you want to. Let me get out your way. Do you do your thing, baby. I'm not, hey, I'm not in the way anybody believes in stuff, baby. In Luke 17, you making this shit happen. You putting these shoes back in your room, or you not? Nah, Verse 11. Out here. You want them out here? No, I'm, I'm gonna put them back in my. All right, just get out of the The Bible says, "Do you want them here? Keep them. You can keep them there. You keep them there. It's no big deal." I'm just now on his way right, to Jerusalem. How many shoes you bought? Luke 17, 11. Now, on his way to Jerusalem, where did, I see you where Jesus traveled along the border huh? between Samaria and Galilee. Yeah, As he was going into the village, village, ten men oh, had his blood. You remember I told you they met him. They, they stood at a yeah. distance. So they said they stood at a distance. Because they have an infectious skin disease, even in trying to get in relationship with Jesus, they had to do it from a distance. And I want you to understand that the lie that our skin is contagious has made, has made people believe that we need to stand at a distance to those things that were September of his junior year. 75% of the brothers that have to go to Westinghouse High School drop out. And they don't drop out and become a Bill Gates. They don't get Puffy dropped out of school, but he did something with his life. Master P dropped out, but he did something with his life. Alan Iverson dropped out, but he did something. When these guys drop out of high school, they don't end up starting record companies. They don't end up going into the NBA. When these brothers drop out of high school, they end up going to the streets, into the prison, into the penitentiary. Amen. And it's because they believe the directions they've been given in the wrong directions. They believe the lies they've been heard about themselves in their lies. And because very few of them are in relationship with the truth. Because the Bible says that Jesus Christ declared about himself, I am the way and the truth and the life. And, 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 and again, I share part of my testimony. I believe the wrong directions. I believe the lies. So what happened to me? By the time I graduated from high school, I had already been incarcerated and was on my way to a very unproductive, ineffective, loser-type life until I met Jesus Christ when I was 27 years old. Amen? And he was able to turn a loser into a winner. Amen. <laughs> and, 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 and so they get isolated, but it wasn't so much they get isolated because it was ceremoniously unclean. When you study some extra biblical books and, and research the scriptures, you find out they went from unclean outside to unclean inside. Then people began to think, well, because they have leprosy, they're dumb. Do you know everything uh, I, I shared before, but we're talking about, see, the Bible says that Satan is a liar well, yeah, and a father of lies. But when he lies, he doesn't lie obviously. He lies in a wet September of his junior year, 75%. Woo! Deep. How you like it? You can't fall for your stuff, man. The business card right there, if you want to save it, save it with the name of the CD. Yeah, it's serious. You know, like, yeah. Got it right there. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard the villains one out here. You know what it is. The body of believers united, unified. It's your boy. 
Alex, hit me up. YouTube, check out the channel. Like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever. Next time, because next time, this boot is a little snow good on. A little hot in here. Put the AC on. I'm all right. All right. The grind no stop, 24-7. Peace.